Welcome to Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon, welcoming you to Trico's 15th edition. Welcome to Trico 2020. My name is Falguni Whedon and I'm delighted to be sitting here with Dr. Saito. Thank you very much. Dr. Saito, can I ask you to introduce yourself and perhaps tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm uh, Shigeru Saito, uh, coming from, born in Japan and coming from Japan this time. And, uh, you know, in 1995, I started my procedure through the transgender approach. Of course, uh, my uh, initial case of PCI was many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. However, uh, anyway, for transgender approach, I started in 1995. And then to introduce this uh, good method to the, uh, all around the world, mm -hmm. I was traveling and visiting many, many hospitals around the world. And uh, also I came to uh, this city and to uh, introduce a transgender approach. That was uh, uh, 20 years ago, maybe, mm. almost. Mm. My first visit here was 2002. So the 18 or 19 years after that. And um, I'm very happy to see uh, how much this great meeting to Raiko was, mm. you know, expanded. Yes. I'm very happy. And we're very honoured to have you here. Thank you. I was privileged enough to sit with many of the faculty mm. members over the mm. past two days mm. and they have referred to you as the master, mm. the guru. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen some extremely mm. live and very mm. challenging complex mm. cases. Mm. Is there anything in particular, any of the cases that you mm. would like to highlight or talk to us a little bit about? Okay, uh, yesterday I had two live cases and one was uh, chronic total occlusion in the right coronary artery and uh, you know the, it was a little bit tricky because there was some uh, classification and uh, just uh, in the uh, middle of the total occlusion there was some branches and that branch was very important to uh, provide the collateral circulation to the distal uh, vessels uh, distal to the occlusion it's very important and unfortunately uh, the patient had no good collateral from the left side to the right mm -hmm. so the if we lose this small branch that is connecting the distal to and the proximal mm -hmm. uh, if we lose lose that branch maybe it will uh, provide uh, it will result in the very severe ischemia or even myocardial infarction mm -hmm. for that patient mm -hmm. So the, uh, it was a little bit tricky case, mm -hmm. but uh, fortunately I could pass the wire through the total occlusion and then did uh, everything and finally placed a stand. Mm -hmm. And for the second case, it was uh, also the almost total occlusion in the proximal mm -hmm. left anterior descending artery. And uh, uh, for me or for other physicians, the, it looked not so difficult case because uh, it was straight and we can track the small connection uh, in the total occlusion. So the, I uh, used the slippery hydrophic wire to cross the region and then it was successful as I imagined. Mm. And then, however, the, it was really very uh, tight narrowing. So the, uh, I could not cross the balloon initially. So the, I used, uh, took the small size balloon and then crossed. And then we found that there was a relatively important side branch. Mm. So the, uh, after I press a stent, of course, uh, we have to do some kind of kissing balloon inflation. Mm. 
because two branches are very important for this uh, patient. So the, uh, we crossed the wire initially, however, the wire crossing was uh, not optim uh, optimal. Mm -hmm. So the, I again took the another wire and then crossed. So the, uh, and because uh, the faculty member asked me to uh, talk very slowly and to talk very easily yes. to the audience, yes. and so I did it. Yes. It was really, you know, a kind of educational experience yes. for me. No, <laughs> I was lucky. And it was very, very exciting in the auditorium mm. Mm. For, okay. for many, many oh, really? cardiologists <laughs> yesterday. I was in mm. there for mm. for a short time. Mm and you could literally hear a pin drop, everybody on the edge of their seat, <laughs> yeah. wanting to see what's going to happen next mm. and, and very, very engaged mm. In, mm. in what you were doing. Mm. Um, as I said, we have a lot of young cardiologists mm. either watching online mm. today mm. or who may be lucky enough to actually physically attend Trico. Okay. Do you have any advice to our young cardiologists? Of course, uh, you know, the uh, like myself, you know, uh, I was, I, I started my uh, PCI procedure mm. by myself. Yes. I actually, I, I did not have any, uh, uh, any uh, teacher, mm. you know. However, that kind of experience was, took so many, so, so many years, mm. so many ta long time. Yes. And, uh, but uh, now you can join TRICO meeting mm. and then you can learn very easily. Yes. However, uh, the most important thing is, you know, uh, you have to watch what, for example, what I'm doing, mm -hmm. okay? Because, you know, I, I was always uh, thinking about the patient and patient safety and success mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm usually not uh, thinking about the mm. physicians, young physicians, you know, because for me, the safety and the benefit yes. to the patient yes. is the most important priority. So the, uh, I will not talk about the technique deta mm -hmm. in detail. Okay. Okay. And however, I was doing and I, I can manipulate my hands, fingers, mm -hmm you know, as quickly as possible, as yes. fast as possible. Yes. It's very important to reduce the risk, mm. you know. So the, if you are not watching me, yes. you will not uh, learn anything. Yes, okay. okay. So it's, everybody mm, really must yes. watch what you're yes. doing with yes. your hands. Yes, yes, yes. Really yes. be focused on mm. actually what you're physically yeah. doing yes. in that moment. So uh, still I'm remembering that was uh, more than almost 40 years ago, yes. when I started uh, cardiac catheterization, yes. you know, uh, those days we didn't have a video recorder, no. okay, before that era. Mm. And uh, however, uh, fortunately, we had uh, eight, millimet eight, eight millimeter film mm. recorder, mm. okay, camera. Yes. And uh, I took my procedure by someone, took the procedure by eight millimeter film recorder. Wow. And then uh, I uh, played back. Yes. And I was so surprised. I cannot see my finger. <laughs> 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 that was my, you know, surprise. Yes. Yeah. And maybe uh, that is my, also the, uh, the most uh, happy thing to have such kind of experience by yes. myself. Yes. And uh, I really want to show this kind of technique yes. and my procedure to yes. the, in front of the patient. Yes. Okay. And you touch on a very good point there, mm. technology. Mm. So you mm. were shooting on a, a mm. very different type of camera yeah. in, yeah. A, in years <laughs> gone by. Yes. Technology has now taken us yeah. to OCT. Yeah. It's taken yeah. us from OCT mm. to mm. robotics, mm. to telerobotics. Mm. Mm. We saw the use of OCT mm. yesterday. Mm. What are your thoughts on this technology? Yes, uh, you know, the, uh, in Japan, we have many, many, you know, uh, uh, 
studies and also many, many uh, doctors who are engaging in the uh, imaging modalities yes. like OCT, yes. IBAS, or any other things. Mm. And uh, also uh, in my practice, I'm very frequently, or, uh, almost in all cases, I'm using such kind of okay. devices. So I'm very familiar. Yes. But you know, I am another aspect, you know. I am the professional for computer science, yes. computer programming. Mm -hmm. That is a, one of my hobby, and also I'm writing by myself. You're passionate about it. Yes, yes, yes. And then, for example, in the board, yes. I can see something like uh, mathematics. Yes. I like that kind of. Okay. <laughs> okay? And uh, I'm taking, using OCT, IBAS, always. Mm. However, I'm watching behind the screen. Yes. What is going on? Yes. And uh, uh, this image processing is uh, true or not? Mm -hmm. I'm always thinking. Yes. And also the uh, I uh, uh, like to think about the uh, basics of yes. the uh, the imaging. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, I'm uh, trying to the uh, uh, make a program to you know change s some kind of data. Okay. And also the uh, I'm, I'm thinking, always thinking about the, uh, some limitation of the OCT or IBAS because mm. OCT is using the light. Mm. So the, uh, and also IBAS is using the sound, mm. okay? And uh, between these two modalities, mm. there are a big gap yes. between the uh, wavelengths, yes. okay? Frequency. Yes. And uh, also the, the frequency limits the uh, how much precisely we can get the signal, mm. okay? So I, I'm always thinking about like, like yes. that. And this is uh, totally uh, not directly linked from the, uh, bit, uh, from the uh, clinical uh, findings. Mm -hmm. However, in this situation, still I'm thinking about that. Yes. And, uh, uh, and uh, in future, I want to do something mm. in this kind of field, mm. and also the for the yesterday uh, I uh, saw the Tejas uh, was handling the robotics mm -hmm. PCI mm. um, machines, mm. and also in my hospital in Japan Kamakura, yes. we will have that kind of machine. Yes, and uh, uh, and also the I'm very interested in the machine language, yes. artificial intelligence, yes. okay? And I'm writing a program by myself okay. as well. Very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And at this moment, of course, the machine and the uh, knowledge is uh, uh, very, you know, like uh, children. Yes, of course. Baby, yes. baby. But I can see the future. Yes. Okay. I mean, let's let's mm. talk a little bit about mm. that that now. So mm. the Apex Heart Institute mm. now has mm. over five hundred procedures mm. under their belt. Yes, yes. With robotics. Yes. Um, more recently, telerobotics. They mm. performed the first five cases mm. globally. Yeah. Yes. And subsequently uh, published in the mm. in the Lancet. Yes, yes. I have seen. Yes. Are you a big advocate of robotics? Mm. Obviously, mm. you are. But mm. let me ask you, where do you think robotics can take us forward in the future? I think, uh, of course, uh, you know, for me, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, already uh, not young, so the, uh, I don't know how many years still after now I can see the future, yes. okay? Maybe 10 years, 20 years, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, in these 10 or 20 years, mm -hmm. I, I don't know uh, what happens, mm -hmm. you know? in this kind of field. Yes. But if I stop at this moment, mm. you know, I, anyway, I cannot know the future. Yes. So I have to continue to go to the yes. future. To the future, of yeah. course. Yes. And is there anything you would like to see mm. included or mm. um, brought to the table for future years of Trico? Trico? Um, you know, I was just, uh, because I was so busy for the, you know, for example, 
trans, uh, TAVA, TAVI yes. procedures. Yes. And now I was quickly, I'm quickly shifting from the uh, PCI to the TAVI procedures yes. and the mitral procedures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the past three and a half years, mm -hmm. I, I could not join this meeting. Yes. And uh, yesterday I was trying very hard, yes. but because of the heavy snowing in Japan, <laughs> I could not reach the airport. That's a true story. Mm -hmm. And but fortunately this year, yes. uh, Japan was so, you know, warm. <laughs> so you could reach us yeah, safely. Yes, yes. And then uh, I found that the, I c could see the uh, lot of, you know, difference in the castle. Yes. I'm always visiting the same castle, yes. Apex Heart Institute. Yes. And uh, the members' face yes. were not different. Yes. But to see your uh, faculty yeah, colleagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But practice itself yes. was, is changing. It's changing. And, uh, and uh, I uh, admire uh, Tejas yes. because he is following yes. that kind of rapid change yes. with the society. Fearlessly. Change. Yeah, yes. yes. It's a very important attitude, you yes. know. I can stick to some, uh, uh, some fixed position, yes. but if I stick, to there, yes. I cannot change myself yes. and I cannot follow the future, yes. but I don't like that. And like uh, Tejas, Tejas can catch up. And me, I, I want to do catch up. And Dr. Saito, let me ask you, mm -hmm. what drives you in your work? Okay, it's a very difficult question. However, you know, okay, I, I can ask you, why you are breed? Mm. Breathing. Yes. You know, if you stop breathing, mm -hmm. you cannot survive. No. Okay. Like uh, such kind of attitudes. Yes. Okay. If I stop here, yes. I cannot survive. Yes. And I cannot go further. Yes. That is the reason. And what can we see from you next in your work? Okay. Uh, now I am uh, quickly and steadily moving to the structure heart disease intervention. And that is one aspect. But still, I'm uh, uh, also focusing in the CTO and the trans uh, approach to refine myself, okay? okay. Mm. So I have different aspects. Yes. That is very important you know, multi-talented, yes. that kind of attitude yes. I like. Okay. okay, all right. Dr. Okay. Saito, thank you so much yeah, for my joining pleasure. us today. Yeah, my pleasure. Trico 2020, our mm -hmm. 15th edition. Mm -hmm. It's an mm -hmm. honor and privilege to have you here. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.